Welcome to this tutorial in Premiere Pro where you're going to learn how to do a text reveal like this. Really you can use this effect to do any sort of reveal whether it's a logo, a picture, another video clip. So let's dive into it. If you're taking the Premiere Pro course from me I've included the window and lady clip in the downloadable resources of this lesson. And a quick shout out to Vlada Karpovich for posting this video to pexels.com. It's a great shot and it's freely available to use and that's all you need. Or you just need any clip where something is moving in the frame that can reveal your text. It helps if your shot is somewhat of a static shot, you're not moving in or out, zooming in or out, because then you're dealing with having to adjust the scale and position of your text to have it get the same sort of effect. All right, so to follow along, we're gonna put this clip in a new layer. Then we're just going to find the spot where we're going to create this text reveal. We're gonna start right around there. So holding the command key down, I'm just gonna trim the beginning of this clip over and that scoots it over using your ripple edit tool. Next, we're going to add our text. So with the type tool, I'm just going to type in here and we'll do the same thing that I did before. Welcome to paradise. Welcome to paradise. Some of my settings are a little bit wonky, so I'm gonna go open my essential graphics panel, edit, let's put this down on another line. My line spacing, gonna set to zero to start out. Set that to zero. and make my welcome text a little bit smaller than my paradise text. And actually now I'm gonna move my line spacing up something like this. Now, the beautiful thing about what I'm going to show you is we can actually make adjustments to our text later on. So right now I'm just gonna put it right here because we're going to have it reveal as she walks by. And right now this is a pretty good position. You wanna put it in a spot where the thing you're revealing it from moves across the entire text. So here we can see that it moves across the entire text. I'm gonna close this panel so we can see a little bit better. All right, so next, this is a very important part. We're going to nest this text and you'll see why later on, but just trust me, nest it. And this is going to help us be able to adjust the text later on. All right, so what we're going to do is create an opacity animation. Under opacity, we're going to use the free draw bezier tool to create a mask around our text. And so what we're doing is actually creating it in line with this lady's shirt or dress, whatever she's wearing. And then over here, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure it covers the entire text. And what we're actually going to do is invert this. So right now it's masking the text, but it's surrounding the text. We're going to invert it by clicking inverted. And so now what we're going to do is animate this path. So to animate it, make sure we set a keyframe right here by clicking the toggle animation button. And now we're going to go through, and I see actually there's a little bit of a text popping out. So select the mask and I'm gonna just move this point over just a little bit. So now we can go frame by frame and you can do that. I have a little scroll wheel on my mouse so I'm just scrolling up and down to go frame by frame. You can also go down into your timeline here, go frame by frame. And so I'm gonna go frame by frame initially to show you what the effect I'm doing and I'm just going to select these two key frame, points rather and move them over. One frame, I have these selected already, and move over. Go frame, move over. Now, I think this will still work if we go a few frames at a time, this style. You do want to match sort of the mo motion and the shape of our shirt as we go over. 
Now, sometimes there's times where you get out of your effect. And so to get back into the, that mask, just select the mask right here. And then to select those two points again, just click and drag over them. So she's moving kind of fast now. So I'm just going a few frames at a time. Now to be completely perfect, you would want to do it frame, one frame at a time. Now her shirt starts to move a little bit different here. So Okay. And as we move and move this mask in future spots in this clip, it's automatically creating keyframes over here, which is what happens when you change the property of something that already has a keyframe. So we got to get all the way until the entire text is revealed. And so now I did that pretty quickly, but if we play through this, it's looking pretty good, except on that very first keyframe, we still see that text appear. So let's make sure our mask here. We might have to go backwards just a little bit, move it over. So there we go. And notice that we actually have a little bit of feathering. I think that's fine actually. It adds to the effect, makes it look a little bit more natural because there's a little bit of motion blur in her shirt and in the way she moves. And so I think that helps. Having a perfectly hard edge wouldn't look as good. And I think that's pretty darn good. All right, so if we zoom out to fit, you can see what this looks like, pretty natural, pretty awesome. Now the benefit of putting it in a nest is now we can go back into this nest sequence, we can adjust our text. So say we want the welcome to text to be a different font. Let's open up Central Graphics, edit this. We're gonna change this to just anything else. Courier, gosh, that's a terrible combination of fonts, but that's okay. Maybe we want it to be a little bit bigger. Something like that, Oop. something like that. Now, if we go back into our other main comp, it still looks good. Now, you have to be careful though, if there's something that you've done, so maybe I changed my welcome to text to be too big. Let me just do that for kicks and giggles so you can see what I'm talking about. If I make this too big, then our mask doesn't work because see now she moves but we didn't change our mask path here to extend far enough to where we could see the letters to or the word to okay so i'm going to undo that and so you got to be careful about that but now you could put anything that fits within this mask and it will be revealed by her movement. A logo, an image, another video clip, but I think it's mostly effective with this text. All right, so that's how you do a reveal. You could do the opposite. If, you're, if you want to make it disappear, you would just have to animate this mask the opposite way. Uh, so, or actually you could invert it the other way. So if we take this and it's kind of like a wipe off effect if that's what you're going for it really depends on what object in your frame is covering your image maybe you have it wipe off as she walks by so this edge of her body sort of wipes it off and that would be kind of a cool effect if we had a title up here that said like a film by or something and then it wipes off as the other one comes on. Just an idea. All right. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and we'll see you in another one.